Hello and welcome back to the lecture of time series econometrics. In this lecture, we are going to see how we can convert a MA1 series into a R series. Now, previously we have seen the lag operator and we have also used a lag operator to convert a AR series into MA series. We used AR1 series and we saw that we can convert it into MA series of order infinity, right? Now, in this lecture, we are actually going to see the reverse process, how we can convert a MA series into a AR series, all right? So let's let's look at uh, let us write down how our MA series will look like. So this part is going to be mathematical, okay? So uh, in the next lecture, we're going to actually cover the why we are doing all this and what are the intuitions behind it and how that is helpful, you know. Uh, so all these things we're going to cover. But in this lecture, we're going to uh, restrict ourselves only to the mathematical part of conversion of MA1 series into AR series, all right? So let us first write down how a uh, MA1 series would look like. So let me write down the generic form yt is equal to epsilon t minus theta epsilon t. So t minus one. So just note one point that we uh, normally we use a positive sign uh, between uh, epsilon t and epsilon t plus one. Here we are using a negative sign. It, there is uh, nothing to be you know like uh, surprised about. Uh, this is simply because uh, some uh, it will help us to do some mathematical computation and as long as you're assuming a theta and you can use a you know negative you can actually get a negative value of theta once you actually uh, you know uh, obtain the value of theta out of this equation okay so there is there is no problem with that so uh, if i write that all right so i can actually use the lag operator here i know how to use the lag operator by now so i will use theta l epsilon t and I also know that L has uh, arith arithmetic properties uh, and it, it is, is basically a polynomial and I can basically do it like this 1 minus theta L right so which means I can write dt equal to yt into 1 minus theta L power minus 1 right now this is basically just like in the previous case here also we see something like a geometric series uh, in of infinite geometric series uh, I can expand 1 minus theta L power minus 1 and it is possible so if uh, I do that I will write yt equal to 1 plus theta L theta square L square Theta cube, L cube, theta power 4, L power 4, and so on. Okay. Now, just one thing to remember here, and, and that is very important, that I can only do such expansion only if my theta value, modulus of theta value, is less than 1, right? Because otherwise, if it is not, then I will have an expansion. Uh, uh, exploding geometric series which is not desirable because you always want a convergence right um, so now L and you we, we are not uh, taking L into account because L is an operator so now let me uh, actually use the lag operator here and see how I get the value of ET so it will basically be yt and then I will use one lag operator yt minus 1 theta then I will or I should have written like theta yt minus 1 theta yt minus 1 theta square theta square theta square yt minus 2 theta cube yt minus 3 yt minus 3 and so on right or I can basically write say let me just keep the same equation I'm writing here uh, so let me use a different color as if it is the most important equation so I can write here yt is equal to minus of theta yt minus 1 minus of theta square theta square theta square theta square yt minus 2 yt minus 2 minus of theta cube 
y t minus 3 minus of dot 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 and last my epsilon t. So here again I see that I am actually having negative sign on the right hand side but that's perfectly fine because we have assumed a equation which is negative like we have used this negative sign here right. So let us write down this is my equation 1 okay. Now what this series is looking like so this is basically my ma1 series this is actually my yt is actually representing a ma1 series. Now if I actually you know sort of uh, write down a AR1 series how it would look like. So let me use a different color for my AR1 series, okay. So, um, uh, sorry, AR infinity series, AR series of infin infinite order. So, AR of infinite order that will simply be, that will simply be yt would be if I say assume a negative sign before my alpha, so it will be alpha y t minus 1 minus alpha square uh, sig phi sorry phi phi y t minus 1 phi square y t minus 2 phi cube y t minus 3 and so on and you add the innovation or the error term for that particular tf period. So that means basically your equation our equation 1 and 2 are same so which means finally I can write this that let me use another color that that ma1 ma1 series is basically you can sort of convert it into sort of convert it into you convert it into ar infinity series a r series of infinite order right so that's basically the finding here. So mathematically, mathematically we can show that uh, MA1 series could be converted into a AR infinite series, okay. Now the point is, it's all good, but then it's only a mathematical proof and we can, you know, uh, just by mathematical uh, manipulation, we could have to reach there. So, but the question is, so what? I mean, why do I really need to do all this mathematics and prove all this? Is it just a fancy thing or is, is there any utility of that? We're going to see that in the next lecture. We're going to talk about that. And moreover, uh, when whereas it mathematically makes sense, I mean, uh, mathematically you can show it, but how can I really say, like logically, how a MA1 series can be converted to AR1, AR series that of infinite order, right? So, uh, order one, how can I, you know, MA and AR, which are basically constructed differently, can in the first place be merged, can in the first place be compared, and that too of completely different order. So in the next lecture, we are just going to answer these questions.